This segment is sponsored by Our Home Magazine. The Virginia Museum of Fine Art is excited to present the Arts and Flowers 2021 museum-wide biennial exhibition of interpretive floral design. Joining us today to talk about this exhibition are the co-chairs of the event, Mary Ann Pediat and Tina Stoneburner. Thank you for joining us, ladies. Thank you for having us. This is such an exciting event because A, it's all over the museum, and B, it brings in people uh, and their interpretation of floral whatever, uh, and we'll get into that whatever in a moment, and they sometimes pair it up with some famous art. Is that correct? Did I have that theory right? Absolutely. Um, the, the artwork, of course, of the museum is spectacular and the floral designs, you know, will just allow visitors to be able to see these works in a whole new light. Now, well, these are people from all over the Commonwealth of Virginia because we have the garden clubs involved. And so these are, they're not just paintings, though, are they? So each... So the Garden Club members come from all around the state of Virginia, and there are four different Garden Club organizations that provide exhibitors. Um, the Garden Club of Virginia, the Virginia Federation of Garden Clubs, Ikebana of Richmond, and Garden Clubs of Virginia. And so once the exhibitors are chosen, then they choose from a list of works of art that they can interpret. So the two are paired, and then the exhibitors spend time studying the work of art, looking at color, line, shape, form, space, and then they choose the flowers and containers, et cetera, that they need to interpret those elements of art in that piece of um, in, in that masterwork that's in our collection. Wow. Uh, Tina, uh, our friends from Strangest Florists, Greenhouses, and Garden Centers have been part of this uh, for a while now, and, and I imagine it would be hard to pull this off without their help. Uh, absolutely impossible, as a matter of fact. <laughs> um, they have been involved for since 1987, um, since its inception, and um, this is now will be the 15th Fine Arts and Flowers that they have supported us with all of the floral um, materials that we've needed to pull off this event. All right, so Marianne, a, a lot of these are absolutely free, but there's a gala and there's other things as well too. Um, one of the galas uh, has something, what's called the horse, of course. But can you explain that to us? <laughs> Sure. The opening gala is one of the ticketed events, and it's the opening night of the exhibition. It's on October 20th, which is a Wednesday night from 7 to 10. But the reason it's called the horse, of course, is because we're also celebrating, in addition to the opening of Fine Arts and Flowers, the reopening of the newly installed melon collections at the museum. And these are the museum's collections of British, American, and French sporting art, as well as French Impressionist and Post-Impressionist works and Schlumberger jewelry. And so um, we chose the, the theme of the horse, of course, because of the fabulous sporting art. And it's just a favorite among visitors. And so we were drawn to the horse. So there's some exciting decorations around that. Yeah. When I first saw that, I'm thinking, are they talking about the roses they put on at the Kentucky Derby? But it's much bigger and better than that. So I was thinking florals and horses, where does that come together? But yeah, all right, that's great. Uh, we mentioned the gala, there's lectures, there's all kinds of things going on as well, right? Oh, there are. They're just, um, we ha start off, of course, with the gala. Um, and we want to make the point that, that, you know, the exhibit, it will be open to the public um, from Thursday the 20th through 
Sunday the 24th. Um, the admission is free and open, you know, to everyone. Um, so we, you know, certainly hope everybody will enjoy, you know, come and enjoy these, these the beautiful floral arrangements. But as far as the other exhibits going on, um, we have um, luncheons. We have nationally recognized speakers. We have um, a fashion show that's coordinated with VCU Department of Design. We have an edible flowers brunch. Um, we have um, we have a family day on Sunday when you know the that you know we invite the families in uh, to enjoy music and um, events that uh, workshops for the children art workshops for the children. Um, so there's lots of going on. Wow, edible flowers lunch. I, <laughs> all right, I wouldn't have expected that either. Thank you both, Marianne, <laughs> Tina. Great job, and as we always know, if the VMFA is involved, it's going to be good. The Fine Arts and Flowers Exhibition begins October 20th and will continue through the 24th at the VMFA. Admission is free and open to the public for a lot of the events. For more information, and you're going to get a lot more, visit their website, vmfa.museum. Learn more about the Fine Arts and Flowers Exhibition in this month's issue of Our Home Magazine. Find it on stands now. Subscribe online at Rich magazine.com slash home and find them on Facebook and Instagram at facebook.com slash home magazine and at our home mag. And please stay with us. Virginia This Morning returns in just a few moments.